I'm Lorna Cole. I'm a senior ecologist at SAC Consulting. Today we are at Loch Hill Farm near Mochlin, courtesy of Alistair and Andrew Taylor. We're here to do a biodiversity workshop, so helping landowners recognise and map habitats on their farm. We've got a beautiful day for it, we've got 35 landowners that are planning to come and also we're joined by certified vintage tractors, rather excitingly. So it's becoming increasingly recognised the value of habitats on farmland at linking our countryside together and as an ecologist I'm always amazed by the variety of habitats I come across and the species these habitats support when I'm out in farm. So for example just from this spot alone we can see a wetland through the trees over here to our left. We can see this huge network of hedgerows that allows species to move across the landscape. We can see a line of trees high up in the hillside here and here we can see coniferous plantations and then we've got more native plantations around this farmsteading and over here to our left. And finally we've got areas such as the buffer strips in the field just below me here where the cows are grazing. So these habitats, they create a mosaic that support a wide variety of different species. They also provide benefits to the farm business, for example, hedgerows will provide shade and shelter for livestock, they'll protect soil from erosion, um, buffer strips and field margins will provide resources for pollinators and natural enemies. So, for example, they'll help enhance pollination in crops such as oilseed rape and field beans and they'll provide control against pests such as aphids. I'm Dr Celine Delabre, uh, I'm an agroecologist for NatureScot. It's important for farmers to map their habitats because they need to know what they have and where. It's about seeing farm through different eyes, maybe through the natural capital lens, and you can't manage what you don't measure, so mapping should help with this. Why is this important? Um, with the, the twin climate and biodiversity crisis, we really need to document uh, a lot more of Scotland. 70% of Scotland is being farmed, so farmers are, so, are a huge player in the biodiversity conservation and restoration. The benefit of mapping just now for farmers, it's uh, first of all staying ahead of the game. It's something that most likely the government is going to require from farmers. The industry might be asking for it as well. Um, it's also making sure that you know what habitat you have and how they can deliver for the farm through carbon credits, biodiversity credits or integrated pest management, pollution mitigation. It's also about uh, making better, more integrated decision at the farm level. In terms of resources to map um, your farm, you'll have a very good understanding uh, of your farm. Farmers can also use OS maps that are available online and any aerial imagery from Google or online could help as well. I'm Andrew Taylor. Uh, I'm a dairy and beef farmer along with my dad and grandfather here at Loch Hill Farm at Mochlin. We're farming about 400 acres, uh, running 100 dairy cows, 40 suckler cows and taking everything to finishing uh, across a, a, sorry, a tenanted farm uh, and we own a, a 15 acres as well. So across Loch Hill we have a wide range of habitats. For example, we have fenced off water courses with buffer strips. We have hedges, we have some scrub on a, a disused railway and we also have a majority of the farm is down to pasture, which is a great range of species within it. These habitats provide a great number of benefits to the farm, not only for my own enjoyment, but also for example the buffer strips help to keep water courses clean and also provide wildlife with a great habitat to be in. I feel that policy is almost behind where industry is going with in terms of habitats and mapping of habitats. Industry is certainly driving this forward. For example, we supply Nestle with our milk 
and they are very, very forward thinking in terms of biodiversity and carbon on farms. Uh, and they, they're wanting us to map hedges and look at biodiversity and wildlife on the farm. Thank you.